Bypass Publishing presents Psychology in the Fast Lane. Difficult Topics Explained. Negative Reinforcement versus Punishment. Many people confuse the terms negative reinforcement and punishment, thinking they mean the same thing, but they don't. Remember, reinforcers in general strengthen voluntary responses, and punishers weaken voluntary responses. So, growing up while I was in school, my mom could have punished me whenever I received bad grades in order to weaken whatever behavior was causing me to get bad grades. Or she could have reinforced my good behavior with something desirable whenever I did study or get good grades. Now, there are two types of each approach, positive and negative. Positive reinforcement is a process that strengthens the likelihood of a particular response by adding a stimulus after the behavior is performed. Negative reinforcement also strengthens the likelihood of a particular response, but by removing an undesirable consequence. So my mom could have told me that if I got good grades during the school year, then I wouldn't have to get a summer job, and that would be my reinforcer. Note that in both cases, the response of getting good grades is strengthened. We can punish a response by also adding or removing a stimulus. Like, I could punish the bad behavior of a child by spanking its backside, or I could punish you after you speed by taking away your driver's license. Both of these things would act to suppress certain bad behaviors. So punishment is either adding or removing something that would stop a response from happening again. And reinforcement is adding or removing something that would encourage the response to happen again. <laughs>